Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Salesforce. First of all, we have to create an account at Airtable.com and preferably we want to go to Airtable.com slash integrations. As you can see, there's a couple of integrations you can, you can pick from, but uh, there's no Salesforce. So uh, we can actually use two ways how to make this integration happen. First way is to use automate.eo. You will find the click in the description under the video down below. First of all, we want to go to integrations on the top right corner and we, we want to go to see all categories. There are a couple of categories that you can pick from, a couple of apps. Ads. And right now we want to start with Airtable. So we are going to use the search, search engine and we want to click on the result, which is Airtable. Now uh, we can uh, try and find the Salesforce here as a first, as a first uh, option like this. And right now, you can go and try your integration. First one is popular integration. So turn new Airtable records into leads or contacts on Salesforce and so on. Or you can create your own integration in Automate. There are already a couple of options that you can go for. But the trigger in this one is new record or update record. You want to use Airtable as your first option. So let's go with new record and it will do this action in Salesforce. There's a tons of you can pick from. So let's go and search an account and you just press try it now. And you just register, logged in and you can make your integrations. The second option is Zapier.com. Right now, we want to uh, create an account here and we want to go, once we do that, we can go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. We can uh, name a zap like Airtable to Salesforce. And let's start with the first trigger. The first trigger will be powered by uh, Airtable. It's very uh, similar to Automate. So right now we, want to, uh, we can pick from three options, new record, new record in view, or update the record. Continue. Now we, we have to log in with an account. Uh, base will be the user research that, or you can name your research anytime you want in Airtable and feedback let's go with the users and we press continue now you can test your trigger the second action second action is the action that will be affected by Airtable right now uh, the application we are uh, the one that gonna be affected is Salesforce press Salesforce. We also have to choose an event and we want to go and we want to create a record or anything else or create attachment. We press continue. And the last thing that we have to do is just to sign into Salesforce. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.